in Israel on October 7th, we had witnessed an unprecedented, horrendous acts of sexual violence, not only against women, but also against children. And to our shock and, and devastation, the human rights community worldwide remained almost silent. And very quickly, after Israel started its retaliation uh, in Gaza and its attempts to um, strike down the Hamas uh, organization in Gaza, very soon the world became um, totally one-sided with, with um, Palestinians in Gaza. And we had seen one um, uh, uh, one declaration after the other by UN entities or by other um, organizations, international organizations or, or academic associations or, um, or universities. Um, which address the, um, the, the, the misery and the plight of Palestinians in Gaza, which I do not deny for, for a moment, but without even acknowledging what had transpired on October 7th, without acknowledging the fact that Hamas committed not only war crimes, but crimes against humanity, which even amount might amount to genocide, and without even calling for the immediate release of all those civilian hostages, this, this double standard, this um, disregard and, and even denial is, is shocking. And it, 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 is, it feels like a betrayal of the human rights world, international community of human rights.